Welcome back, friends. I hope your uh, background's a little dry. We are gonna move on to our frog. For our frog, I'm gonna use my round brush and I'm gonna use my regular green paint. So I'm not mixing any paint in, or any other colors in with it right now. To make my frog, I'm gonna start with a long circle, kind of ovalish, but it almost looks like a watermelon. So it's just a little bit of a long circle. We don't want a gigantic oval, egg-ish shape. We just want a long circle. Once we have that long circle, we can move to our flat brush and paint it in. Now I'm gonna make sure that these paintbrush lines go up and down. Make sure that these paintbrush lines go up and down. Perfect. Doesn't it look like a floating watermelon now? Without washing my brush at all, I'm gonna grab just a little bit of white paint on the corner and I'm gonna make a little bump in his belly. Looks like a little rainbow. So I'm gonna give him a nice belly. His belly's gonna be a little bit lighter than his body, but just a little bit. It don't have to be a lot lighter. I'm gonna wipe my paintbrush off and set it to the side. I'm gonna go back to my round brush and I'm gonna draw his legs and the legs are pretty easy. They are actually gonna be gigantic ovals. They might even look like cucumbers or baguette bread. So watch this, a gigantic oval. If you look at this gigantic oval, it starts really close down here to his belly, but then up here at the top, it gets kind of far away from his head. So it's at an angle away from his head. My gigantic legs. Now for those legs, we're actually gonna paint half of them in with dark green. So I'm gonna paint the outside, the one that's closest to the edge of the canvas. I'm gonna paint that in with dark green. It's just my regular green straight out of my bottle. But the other side, I'm gonna paint with yellow. Now I'm not cleaning my paintbrush off because I want it to be a bright green. So I'm gonna paint this side with yellow. And if you look, my paintbrush was still dirty so I got a really cool light yellow or light green color. Paint this one over here light light yellow. If your green's too dark, easy peasy. Wipe your brush off, add more yellow. If you have too much yellow, easy peasy. Wipe your brush off, add more green. Oh yeah, I like his legs now. Those guys look great. Same paintbrush, plain green paint. I'm going to make his little feet. And his little feet are actually They're triangles. You see how that makes a triangle? So I'm gonna make two triangles. I can paint those triangles in. Now stop and watch this for a second. It's a pretty cool trick. With my paintbrush, I'm gonna take a little bit of yellow paint. My paintbrush is still dirty, I didn't wash it. And I'm gonna do four lines starting from the top of my triangle to the end. One, two, three, four. And if you go over just a little bit off the edge of your triangle, you magically get froggy toes. Ready? One, two, three, four. My frog toes are done. I like frog toes, they're so cute. Now we have to give him his frog arms. I'm gonna go back to my straight green color. Frog arms start just above his frog belly. And I'm gonna draw those straight down right below his frog belly. Looks like a sideways equal sign. And these are just gonna have three little lines on them. Three little lines on them. My frog legs look great. Before I wipe my brush off, I'm gonna take just a little bit of white 
and I'm gonna add just, I'm sorry, yellow. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of yellow to the front of his legs. I'm not gonna add it to the toes, just the front. And I just realized as I'm teaching you guys this, I forgot about the color black. I need you to go find your adult real quick and tell them Crazy Mary forgot the black. I need some black paint, please help me. So I'm gonna add my little, and you just need a teeny, 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 tiny bit of black paint. But how else are we gonna make his frog eyes without black paint, Crazy Mary? Well, I'll tell you what, his frog eyes are gonna be super fun because you're gonna take your paintbrush and you're gonna set it down. You're gonna take your paintbrush, that's the paintbrush you were given when you were born. And you're gonna dip it into white paint. Yep, that's right. You guys know my favorite thing is finger painting. So I'm gonna take that paint and I'm gonna put two circles. Now these circles should be touching his head. He would look really weird if his eyes were floating off of his head. Let them touch his head and it's okay if a little bit of green gets mixed in. He is a frog after all. And then go wipe your finger off before you keep painting. Once your finger's clean, you're gonna do the exact same thing, but this time with a little bit of black paint and you are just gonna do one polka dot, but that polka dot's not gonna be right in the middle. It's gonna be up to the side, up to the side, up to the side. Now that you know where his eyes are gonna go, you're gonna take your round brush and you are going to fill in that eye a little bit better. Just a little bit, doesn't take much. There we go, just a little bit. Those are cute little frog eyes. Now, I don't know about you guys, but my frog is hungry. And because he's hungry, I need to make sure I find him some food. So I'm gonna take my black paint on this paintbrush right here, and I'm gonna give him a happy froggy smile. And a happy froggy smile, it doesn't just make a curve up like this. It does this, are you ready? There's a curve at the bottom. It looks like a regular smiley face, doesn't it? Of course, everybody could do that, but let's make it more interesting. Let's curve it at the bottom, and then let's make it curve at the top too. And because he's hungry, let's give him a tongue sticking out. Now, I'm gonna take my paintbrush and actually wash it off with my water. I wanna make sure it's clean before I get my pink paint for my tongue sticking out, because he is hoping to catch a frog with that tongue. I mean a fly, crazy frog. He can't catch his friend, not with a tongue. Social distancing keeps them away too far. Perfect tongue. All right. Now that I've got my tongue on there, I'm gonna take my paintbrush and I'm gonna get ready to add my bug. I'm gonna use my itty bitty small baby brush. And with super small baby lines, I'm gonna make a dotted line for the bug. A dotted line for the bug. Now you have a decision here to make is your bug already gonna be in your frog's mouth? Or did your bug fly away? Or can you still see your bug? Where is your bug? Let's talk about our lily pad. Our lily pad is what our frog's gonna sit on. Our lily pad is going to be a mixture of green and then a little bit of black, just a little bit. And that lily pad is gonna go around our frog feet, all the way around our frog feet. You can even make a triangle up someplace so that it looks like a real lily pad. 
And then all you're gonna do is with your green and black mix, I might have added a little bit too much black. Let me spread that black paint out a little bit. Get some more green paint. With that green and black paint, you're gonna go around your froggy toes. You're gonna go around your triangle and you are going to fill in all of the space under your frog. I ran out of green paint, so I gotta grab a little bit more. This picture sure does use a lot of green paint, doesn't it, friends? All the way around for little froggy toes, little froggy feet, little froggy fingers. Going all the way around that froggy. So what we've done today is we've used the color green a lot and we changed that color. We added black to it to make it darker. That's called a shade. Anytime you take a color and you make it a little bit darker, it's a shade. We've also taken white to that color. It's called a tint. When you make your color a little bit lighter, you are tinting the color. So today you use the color green. You've mixed it with, with yellow, which is a primary color. You've mixed it with white, which is a neutral color and that turns it into a tint. And you've used black, which makes it a darker color and that turns it into a shade. So the next time you tune back with me, let your paint dry just a little bit and we're gonna talk about our final details.